Now the white Chinese, that was another colour I developed in Australia, oh, back in the 70s and that same thing, because I was doing geese commercially then, and I wanted a, a high egg laying bird that I could cross into the Emdens or Toulouse, which was going to give me bigger body weights, higher egg production, and you know, get a dress weight, uh, a good dress weight of around about that 3, 3.5 kilos at uh, 15 weeks or something, those uh, first crosses would work out at. So the idea was to use, say, an Emden gander or Toulouse ganders over the Chinese females because your Chinese females are a higher egg producing bird and if you've got white Emdens and white Chinese females, yeah, you know, 98% of the goslings are going to be white. So that was a, that's was that been a really good cross for the commercial use in Australia. And what's their temperament like? They're more skitty and toey. They're no more aggressive. Oh, they're a little more aggressive. The Emdens and, and, the, and the Chinese are, are more aggressive compared to the Toulouse, but still a good bird. Most geese, the only time you've got to worry about them and people worry they attack you and things like that is when you're trying to take babies away from them or get eggs out of their nest when they're laying. The rest of the year they're quite docile and they don't really want to uh, come running after you. Where you get the problems with that when where people say they've been chased by geese is normally if they're hand reared goslings that, and when you hand rear them they've got no fear of human beings and then so those birds sometimes you know, around the parks and ponds can, you know, they scare the kitties a bit sort of thing if they're hand rare ones and then people have let them go or something like that so they, they've got no fear of humans but just normal geese that are reared under normal conditions don't come looking for trouble.